Previously on the Omnicron Conspiracy! Boss, uh, you killed me. The pain, no. Captain Powers, I am Lieutenant Leslie Drake. My friends call me Laz. No! Captain Powers, you have to leave your weapon on. Mr. Worth. Fire. And now the continuation. Welcome back to the exciting adventures of Ace Pars. And rather than being a man about town, we're going to go back to the ship. We got tragically lost in the library. We didn't know where we were going or what we were doing. So uh, our energy is getting pretty low. It's like halfway down the meter. So we'll head to the transporter, head back to the Vulcan and have ourselves a good night's sleep. If I can work the transporter. There we go. <laughs> We're live, folks! On the Falcon transporter grid. Where am I going? Right, this way. Yes. I'd forgotten the layout of my own ship there. He is Pars, man of memory. The bed is so comfortable. Okay, now that we're fully healed, we can head on with our adventures and our inventory's full. See, the thing is, if your inventory's full, you can't, you know, receive new items. So, we should probably get the badge and leave some of the stuff. Dex post and airlock keys. We'll take the badge to show that we are on official space police business. For we are a cop of space, after all. And we'll head down to the planet. Uh, let's just, uh... Hmm... Just thinking here, what were the coordinates to the Black Star? We should probably go there instead of the planet again. Find Agent 786 and the Black Star. Right, there's the coordinates. We'll enter those in and we'll get cracking. I have forgotten the coordinates. I think that's it. Okay, let's jump! This is going to be funny if this is wrong. Come on! That jump took us to empty space. Be careful not to waste fuel, boss. We can always refuel at the police station on Kron. Oh. Okay, so we did do the wrong coordinates. And Pal has rightfully chastised us. It's 711509. I think we hit four. Yes, we hit four accidentally. That, that's, that's on me. Sorry, folks. Not good with numbers. And away we go! To the Black Star. And now, surely, we will end up at the right place. We are not reading a working transporter grid on board the Black Star. Maneuvering to couple the ships together. Done. You can enter through the airlock, boss. Well, that's very convenient of you, pal. So, airlock, airlock. No, no, hold on. This is the medical... Why am I so lost? Airlock's not that way. It's this way. Through here! What a tremendous playthrough. Right, into the airlock. Ah, the door's locked. And that's my meta card, not the airlock card. So I have to go back and get the airlock card. If only there was some way of speeding this along. Wish me luck, pal. I'm off to the Ever Ship. There's the Black Star airlock. That looks a bit different. I like the variation there. Oh no, what's happened here? He's been shot through the head, and there's a trace of stardust on his hands. That's the drug we're looking for. Impulse, cargo bay breached, warranty void. <laughs> 213 fatal errors, engine down. Impulse drive damaged, cargo bay breached. Warranty is void, yes. Oh no, another dead passenger. It appears to be one of the passengers. He's been toasted by blaster fire. Well, that's no good. Hopefully there's nobody with a blaster on here. They wouldn't have stayed on a dead ship, would they? Will this do much? Oh, look at that. We can view the manifest. 
So we had El Quattro, H. Del Dalmar, C. Porcert, Lanthium Par Crystals, Plas Gel. This is a really neat feature that you can look up the computer and see what is what. Undelivered cargo medical supplies. Cargo bay breached, remaining cargo lost. So were they scavenged for medical supplies? I, I feel like there was more to it than that. Passenger cargo pickup at Suda City, delivery to Delphi 2 and 3. Passenger cargo pickup to Delphi Science Complex. Distress signal, approached vessel, main drives critical, crew deceased, passengers deceased. Good grief. Nurse droid not responding! Multiple permanent deaths detected. Police boarding request. Oh, so it's talking about us, I think. At least I hope it's us. We've got a mystery afoot on the Black Star. Oh. Are you friendly? S point P operative 786's personal droid reporting Sora. The Black Star was attacked three days ago. The attacker's insignia and method of operation identified them as Sarbe assassin droids. They killed everyone. Good grief. Brutal. My master was following a shipment of the illegal drug stardust that was disguised as medical supplies. Ah, so it was a drug thing. They were just disguised as medical supplies. He had determined that the sole source of Stardust is somewhere in Suda City on the planet Kron. So all this time, Lieutenant Drek and all these others have been searching for this Stardust drug thing, and it's right under their noses. But now he's dead. I survived because I was hidden in the airlock during the attack. That was very brave of you, 786's pal. There were two other passengers. A Mr. Carthon Possert and a Dr. Limor Quattro. You passed Mr. Possert in the bridge. So where's Lemar Quattro? Dr. Quattro, however, isn't accounting for. I have scanned every room and there is no trace. Are you telling me he was in codes? Because he survived, but he's not on the ship. My sensors indicate that my master has been inoperative for too long and that rejuvenation is impossible. I like the sci-fi concept of rejuvenation. They did that in Star Trek. And obviously they've taken that and put it here. So Agent 786 was killed in the Black Star attack. It's up to me. The organized guy called the Sarbi. And Dr. Quattro has vanished. Hmm. You can always pause the video and read those if you want. Interesting. Oh, another dead body. He's been cut down by blasters. I'm waiting for a turret to come out in the engine room or something and kill me, but hasn't happened. Do you have anything more to say, pal? I will remain with my master's remains until the Black Star is recovered. That's very dutiful of you. I'm afraid I cannot further assist you, Captain. Fine, don't assist me any further. See if I care. It appears to be what's left of Agent 786. He's been disintegrated. He may be the reason for the attack on the ship. Either way, it looks like it's your drug ring investigation now. Ugh. It's all up to me. This barrier must have closed to seal in the air when the cargo hatch was destroyed. Oh, goodness. Okay. Nothing on that body. Nothing on the other body. How about we explore the rest of a Black Star? Into the lift. Let's see. Facilities and quarters. Let's go to the facilities and see what's there. Oh, wow. Look at all this damage. Again, big shout out to Streaks for all the extra stuff here. I mean, I don't think all of this detail was in the original game. This is really cool. Even if some of it is reused assets, it's nice. It adds flavor. Doesn't appear to be anything here, though. Let's see. Let's go to the right. Ah, food room. Okay. Food dispenser. It won't even open. But what if I wanted a burger? Ah, another body. She's been fricasseed by a blaster. Not just killed, fricasseed. 
There's nothing in the garbage chute. Uh, should we get a drink? Give us a drink. Ah, doesn't want to give me a drink. There is only useless packaged food components here. And there's nothing on the supply shelves. But hey, kudos again for adding all this additional content. When I originally played the Omnicron Conspiracy, it wasn't there. You couldn't do any of this. So that's really cool. And I assume there's a third deck we can view now as well, the Quarters. Let's have a look. Hmm. As much as you'd like to, you don't want to tamper with a crime scene. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. Could really use a coffee, though. Nothing in the cabinets. Nothing in the garbage chute. You haven't hidden anything on me. It only contains a few board games and probably pirated videos. Does the Omnimon work? Yes, it does. I'm sorry. Hold. Okay, yep. Let's see. What else have we got here? To our right. Oh, a bench. There's no time for sitting down on the job. You're on duty. Fine, fine. Crew quarters. Oh, another dead body. The wing emblem on his shoulder indicates he must have been the captain. He's been shot through the hearts. All four of them. Ugh. Grizzly. And we've got some nice crew quarters. The bed is so comfortable that you fall asleep as soon as your head <laughs> hit hits the, the pillow. Bed and he went to sleep. Yeah, just you sleep on the murder ship. Why not? What could possibly go wrong? Let's see, second crew quarters. Yeah, pretty similar. Just a little variation there. Nice. And the captain's quarters. Oh, now this is different. Painting. The painting depicts a landscape on a planet that you don't recognize. Control panel. The panel is useless without the captain's password, which is long gone, right. Surely you don't want to play an old game in this day and age? Ew. <laughs> ah, nice little joke there. Because of course we want to play an old game in this day and age. We are Omnicron Conspiracy fans. The captain doesn't appear to have anything else to tell us. We can't search the body or anything. So, uh, I guess that's it for the quarters deck. And the Black Star, I guess. And down the lift we go. Is there anything else around here? Let's just have a little look. No. I think I've seen everything. Well, I guess I better head back, because all the action appears to be going on on Kron. Right under the nose of the CPP. Stupid, useless police force. They need a space cop to come and sort out their problems. That was absolutely seamless. All that additional content. Really impressed. So, let's, uh... Just investigate, yes, uh, kill the Black Star attack, stop the Stardust production. Uh-huh. So it's all updated there. And uh, we'll set a star course for Kron. I remembered that one. I like the little fuel gauge in the corner as well. It says 60% fuel. So we have enough to get to Kron, but we might need to refuel from that nice refueling guy with the funky voice. Let's uh, head on down to the police station. Alrighty. Whoa! <laughs> I entered and exited the transporter room. Whoops. Now we've got some walking to do. And uh, back to the library, maybe. I know. wait. That's the wrong direction. I am. I. I do apologize. I'm really bad today with my sense of direction. Excuse. Sir, I think you dropped this. May it lead you through the door of wave knowledge. That was weird. What? Mentant just casually strolling by and giving us his card, his business card. Well, off to the library because you see that computer has a slot. And I think we know what to put in the slot. Finally. <laughs> There we go, and into the secret basement. 
All right. Hello there. We've been expecting you, Captain Powers. Our leader wishes to speak to you, please follow him. Okay, quite happy to follow you if you're not going to kill me for trespassing. I suppose they gave me the card, you know, so they were expecting me. I didn't exactly burst in. Greetings, Captain Powers. My name is Den Harth, and I'm the leader of the True Mentant Order. I'm pleased to meet you. True Mentant Order? What's the difference? I know that you are investigating the Stardust Ring. A faction of renegade mentants is behind it. Let me explain. Ah, so they're responsible for the drug stuff, huh? As you'll probably know, we mentants are imbued with psychic powers that let us see events across the fabric of time and space. No, I didn't know that, but thanks for the exposition. Many years ago we discovered that our powers could be amplified by certain rare minerals. Huh. A drug-induced mentant. Never heard that before. As our search for more effective Sephulchi expanded, some of our brethren began using drugs to amplify their powers. We soon found, however, that the most effective drug How's me using it to become paranoid and to chill? Oh, good grief. So, there's a pile of drugged up mentants that are complete psychotics? Our letters decided to forbid the use of drugs, but some of our order rebelled and built their own temple on Plain Street. They built their own temple with blackjack and hookers? So, there's a bunch of mentants in that temple who are murderous, psychotics, Hopped up on all kinds of crazy drugs? These renegades foresaw Yurich in discovering the location of their drug lab and hired the Sabe to assassinate him. Ah, so the agent was onto something, so they had him knocked off. And they knew he was onto something because of the psychic pars. But they don't have ears pars. I sense a terrible catastrophe looming. The only advice I can offer to you, Batman Powers, to search the Delphi Science Complex. Delphi Science Complex. Have you got the coordinates? Lately we have been getting strong vibrations from there. Delphi is one of Crone's moons. Coordinate is 927325. Well, that's convenient. Thank you very much, Den Herf. And what a wonderful voice you have. Here it's you to investigate every in there. A sense that many threads converge in that place. Ooh, converging threads. Prophecy. It is up to me, Eospars, to unravel this. Good luck, Captain Powers. My assistant will show you the way out. Well, that was a perfectly pleasant conversation. Thank you, Den Herf, for the coordinates. We'll get on Delphi as soon as possible. Now let's follow this nice mentant out. Good luck, Captain Powers. The fate of the universe rests in your hands. Whoa, okay. Not too much pressure there. The fate of the entire universe. Not just, you know, the Kron area or the moons or whatever or the Mentant Order. The fate of the universe. Whoa, that's a lot of effort. Well, I guess we better head back to our ship and find out what on earth is happening with this whole crazy drug thing. But first, I think I'm going to randomly wander about the streets. I have to give kudos to this game, though. I mean, for the late 80s... Uh, to have such an intricate and involved plot. That's very impressive. I feel like there's there's parts of this city that I didn't explore last time. So I'm, ju I'm just going to head that way and see what happens. Jewel Avenue. No, I don't think I've been here. I could go into all these residential doors and stuff, but I think I shall head right to the bottom. Just to see how far it goes. Cue the music! Hey, it's Bellows! And he's got a custom nameplate! 
Oh no, Sarbe enforcers. I'm getting out of here. Look out, Bellows! Ah, Sarbai. One got me. My health is low. Bellows, come back here. Stop hiding like a coward. I demand answers. You can't use your Batman bookcase hidden place on me. Ace, is it safe? Man, you saved my back and again. I owe the Sarbay a few credits, and I guess they were here to collect. Bellows, you were lucky. I, I just stumbled upon this place. I didn't even realize you lived here. If you re after the Sarbay, I keep seeing them come in and out of the green tattoo bar. The green tattoo bar, eh? Watch your back, ass. I mean, I'm kind of busy saving the universe, Bellows. I don't have time to save you. All right. And that ends our current playthrough of the Omnicron Conspiracy. Tune in next time to see Ace Pars. Kill some more Sarbai and check out the station and things like that. Until next time.